Okay, so we've dealt with the, exp the explanation of how complex numbers work, like what's the pieces of it, A and B, all the great stuff. So now let's just go ahead and talk about adding them and subtracting them, and then we'll go to multiplying, and then we'll be done. All right, so here, example one says, what is the sum of 4 minus 7i and negative 11 plus 9i? Everybody already knows the word sum means addition. Now, the answer to a uh, solution to an addition problem. So, whenever you see sum, you know we're talking about addition. So, we're going to add these two things together. So, I'm going to just rewrite it so it looks like we're doing what it says to do. And now, this next part should be very easy for everybody because with it, we're going to combine like terms. And we already know how to combine like terms. So, I'm going to just rewrite this up top of each one of them. That's our A, that's our BI. This is our A, this is our BI. And so all we're going to do is combine the A's together. We're going to combine the BI's together. And then we're going to be done. So we're going to do A plus the A. And then the BI's plus the BI's. So we're going to combine those together and then pretty much be done. So with that, we know this is our A. This is our A. This is our BI. Not six. This is our bi, including that negative right there. And this is our bi right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put them on top of each other and actually just combine them. So, um, I don't think space. There's a little bit of space there. I'm going to do it over off to the side over here so I have space. All right, and we're going to add them up together. Add them. All right, so if we're going to add them, that means the negative 7 plus 9 gives you a positive 2i. So if you have $9 and you give somebody 7 of them, that means you only have $2 left. All right, and then for a negative 11 and 4, so if, we have a, um, if you owe $11 and you give somebody $4, you still owe them. You still owe them negative $7. And you know what? That's our answer right there. That's how you add them. Bam! Easy, simple, not hard. We got that. So all we did was combine like terms, and then that's it. All right. So then let's go to B. All right. Um, and let me just write this really quick too. It's another way of, I've learned. I've done it too. So the A's are here. So we combine our A's in one parenthesis. We combine our bi's in the other parenthesis. And then we just combine like we just did over here. So 4 and negative, set, four and negative 11 is negative 7. And then negative 9 and positive, sorry, negative 7 and positive 2, positive 9, sorry, gives you a positive 2i. And same answer there too. So you can do it either way. You can combine them this way, or you can go ahead and do it like this. So either way, it works the same way. All right, so let's go to the difference now, subtracting them. And so if we subtract them, it means we're using the same two. We haven't changed anything. But this time, I'm going to rewrite it. And instead of us doing, I'm sorry, it says, what is the difference of 4 minus 7i and the negative 11 plus 9i? Difference, we know, means subtraction. I'm sorry, I skipped a step. I said it, but I didn't write it down. So subtraction. So that means we're going to subtract these two quantities, um, complex numbers, here and be able to find an answer. So if we're going to subtract them, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to keep our parentheses right now because it's going to be important for well, the next step. All right. So if we do that, that means we're going to have to distribute first, distribute our negative. So we're going to distribute right here. All right, so if we distribute their negative, that means we take this through, take this through here. So here we will have 4 minus 7i plus negative times a negative is a positive 11. And the negative times a positive is a negative 9i. Okay, 
and then again we can do like we did um, either on the left side over here or what we did underneath the problem so I'm going to do both of them and so here I'm going to combine the two a's together into one parenthesis so this time it's a positive 4 and a positive 11 with the addition sign in the middle and then I'm going to put our b's together our bi's b i b i so we have negative 7 i minus 9 i Right, so all we did was just combine like terms. So that's all we did was combine like terms here. Put the A's together, put the B's together. All right, so after we do that part, we just go ahead and finish it up. So here, 4 and 11 gives you 15. And then negative 7 and a negative 9 gives you a negative 16i. Easy, simple, not hard. We got this. We got this. All right, so I'm going to also show you the other way, too, on, on this left side. So I'm going to go back to this step right here because we already distribute, and that's always the first thing is distribute when you have a negative. So I'm going to start here. And now we can add because we already distributed that negative. Because we already distributed the negative up here, now we can start adding because that's what we have right here. And so again, like we did, combine them straight here. It's a negative 16i. And then 4 and 11 is 15. Bam. So you can do either way. And it'll give you the exact same answer. All right, so that's addition and subtraction. All right, so now we're just going to go to multiplication, um, and then we're done.